So this was a, a beautiful and powerful way for us to see Jesus again. And our faith just makes it like this happened yesterday. Jesus' death and resurrection happened yesterday. So like our faith is able to make this happen over and over, you know. And for everyone in the building, everyone in the church, we all felt it. Jesus dying and rising. Thoughts, feelings, and desires are really our basic raw materials for prayer. Thoughts, feelings, and desires. And so when, when those feelings come up and you realize what Jesus did, I can connect to him. Or what Mary felt, you know, that, that disappointment of having to let go of her son and then, you know, hope that he comes back or try to believe what Jesus said to her, you know. So we all can relate to these, these feelings that they had. And sometimes we don't want to because they're ugly. But they're also life-giving, you know, so beautiful. Was there any one well, there was one scene and then one small part of a song. The scene with uh, Jesus and Peter, that forgiveness. This is the year of mercy. That's a perfect scene for the year of mercy. Because that's what was coming out all over the place, was this mercy. And then the, the, the song that was hitting me was just when Mary was singing her Magnificat. Oh, she's looking at Jesus. That was tough. It was beautiful. I'd say, why are you skeptical? This is our, this is our story. It's time we owned it and shared it and, and gave it away. This is, this is, there's no reason to be at all skeptical. This, it won't do your, your parishioners any good. It won't do the, the community any good. Receive it. Let it come. And Father Joe, at the end, I want more. I want more. You know, this is, this is what we're about. Waking up. Letting it happen.